Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create the famous whip transition for your video in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about transition in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Whip Transition. Click OK. We will bring our two stock videos onto our project panel. Take the first video and place it on the sequence panel to create a new sequence. Bring in the second footage and join it. Here we have this two different car videos. We will create this whip transition from one video to another. Go to this new item icon and select adjustment layer. We will use the default settings, click OK. I will name this layer as whip. Take this adjustment layer and place it on top of our video. Now place the indicator at the split of the two videos. Hold shift on your keyboard and press the left arrow key on your keyboard to move our playhead 5 frames to the left. Trim the adjustment layer. Again place it in the center. Hold shift and press the right arrow keys two times on your keyboard to move 10 frames to the right. Again trim it. As you see our adjustment layer have 5 frames before the end of the first video and 10 frames after the start of our second video. That is because we want our animation to start super fast and end in a slow motion. Now let's start creating our whip transition. Go to effects panel and type an offset. Take this offset effect and place it on our adjustment layer. In the effects control panel, Place the indicator at the start and keyframe the shift center. Move the playhead little to the right and drag the position of the shift center to the left. As you see we have this mirror-like effect, drag it two times to get the moving effect. Now take the keyframe and place it at the end of our adjustment layer. Again go to effects panel and type in directional blur. Take it and place it on our adjustment layer. Go to effects control and increase the blur to 80. As you see we now have our blur effect but it looks it's in up down direction. We want our blur effect to be in side to side because both of our videos are in a side to side look. For that we will change the direction to 90 degree. Just like that we changed the blur from up down to side to side. We will increase the blur to 200. Now that looks good. Again place the indicator at the center. Keyframe the blur length. Now place the playhead at the start and click on this reset parameter to get our blur effect back to its original state. Again place the playhead at the end, change the blur length to zero. This will give us our blur to increase at the start and decrease at the end. Let's play it and see the magic. Now 
that looks super good. We now created that whip transition, because of the side to side blur, our transition seems smooth. We can increase the blur length to give more seamless transition. I will change it to 400. Let's play it again. That looks perfect. We now have that seamless transition effect to it. We can add one more effect and make our transition look more dynamic. Go to effects panel and type in posterize. Take the posterize effect and place it on our adjustment layer. As you see here we have this cartoon like effect. Go to effects control. Make sure that our playhead is at the beginning. Change the level to 250. Now we can see our video. Keyframe the level, and place the playhead at the center of the split video. Change the level to 100. Now we have this depth color transition. In the posterize level. Smaller the amount means stronger the effect will be, so be sure to play with it before keyframing it. Now place the indicator at the end and change the level to 250. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks good. We now have that heavy cartoon look in our transition and it looks super good. You can change the level however you want. I will change it to 50. We will change some keyframes effect to suit our transition. Select this two keyframes and right click on it. Select ease out. Now highlight the last two keyframes and right click on it. Select ease in. By doing this we will get that fast transition at the start and ending in a slow motion. Highlight the center two keyframes and again right click on it. Click on the busier. Now let's play it and see the final result. That looks amazing. We now created the perfect whip transition on our video. We will change the shift center from two picture to one, to make it more simple. Take the keyframe to the center to edit it. Click on the reset parameters to get the default settings. We will drag it only one time. Now place the keyframe at the end. Now play it. That looks good. If you want your transition to be up down and not side to side, don't worry I will teach you how to do it. In the effects control panel change the blur direction to zero. Change the shift center from side to side to up and down. That's it. That's how you change the transition from side to side to up down. If you play it without changing the shift center, you will get that another new whip transition effect. Just play with the settings, you will know a lot more about it. If you want this transition, then don't look anywhere. I have created this super preset of this whip transition. You can download it by going to this pay hip link in the description. You will get this preset along with the project file and stock footages for just one dollar. Once you downloaded the file, go to effects panel and click on this menu bar. Select the import preset. Now select the preset that you downloaded and that's it. That's how you import the preset onto your Premiere Pro and you can use it forever. I will show you how to add it on your video. Create an adjustment layer and place it on top of your video. 
trim the layer to 5 frames front and 10 frames at the end. Go to effects panel and take the preset, place it on your adjustment layer. That's it, it's super simple. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for supporting, it means a lot to me and I will make more amazing tutorials like this. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.